Hi, in this video, we will learn how to find eigenvalues of a general n by n matrix. We'll see that there is a, a polynomial which plays an important role. We will call it characteristic polynomial of the given matrix. I'll start with uh, recalling a few facts that we already did for two by two matrices but now is true for n by n, any n by n matrix. So uh, lambda is an eigenvalue uh, of an n by n matrix A if if we can find a non-zero vector v such that a v is lambda v for some v which is non-zero. Well, this is equivalent uh, to say that uh, well the um, homogeneous system with the coefficient a minus lambda i identity has non-trivial solution and non-trivial solution for a homogeneous system with a, a square coefficient matrix means that the the square coefficient matrix is not invertible and not being invertible matrix we learned that has an equivalent condition in terms of determinant a matrix is not invertible if and only if its determinant is equal to zero well here a uh, remark is that you see this determinant of a minus lambda when you do that lambda is a variable that what you get is going to be is a polynomial in lambda of degree n what does this mean it means that we'll have when you compute that we'll have lambda n lambda n minus one and each one has its own coefficient this will go up to a one lambda plus a zero and with the steps given above so um, using the above steps we now know that that a, a lambda is an eigenvalue value of matrix A if and only if lambda is a root of polynomial determinant of uh, a minus lambda i so to find eigenvalue of a matrix we find this polynomial and then set it equal to zero and find the roots of that polynomial those are exactly the eigenvalues of the given matrix so as you see this polynomial plays an important role so we have a name for that definition the uh, the polynomial determinant of a minus lambda i is called the characteristic polynomial of a and again every every matrix we, we work with here is uh, n by n square matrix and when you set a polynomial equal to zero what you have the equation 
your book likes to call it characteristic equation. So characteristic polynomial equal to zero is an equation. We call it characteristic equation. There is a, a convention here that your book chooses. Let me just write that, that uh, in some references, uh, the determinant of lambda i minus a is called the characteristic polynomial. Well, what is important to note here is that you see a minus lambda i and determinant of lambda i minus a, well, may have, when n is odd, may have a different factor of negative one in front. So they are almost the same thing, but a factor of negative. And the roots, which are eigenvalue, are the same things. But your book chooses this convention, A minus lambda. It has its own good things and own bad things, but the book is chooses this one. I remember in two by two matrices, I, I worked with this guy here, but for now, you have to make sure that whenever someone asks you for a characteristic polynomial, you find determinant of A minus lambda. So everything being said, it's time to do some examples. Uh, do I have some examples? Yes, I have two examples here, three by three matrix. So we do what? Determinant of A, which is one, two, zero, four, three, zero, four, five, negative one, minus lambda identity of the same dimension, which is, this thing. Well, this is always true that determinant of A minus lambda I, you write A and only on the main diagonal you have minus lambda of all the uh, uh, main diagonal entries of the matrix then find the determinant of that. Well, to find the determinant, I see that there is a, a third row which has two zeros, so I will find the determinant by expanding along that. This is plus, uh, minus, plus, minus, plus, and then the determinant will be zero times determinant of submatrix. Doesn't matter what is that, determinant minus zero times determinant of another submatrix, but the last piece is negative one minus lambda, determinant of one minus lambda, two, four, three minus lambda. Here, you compute this one, this is negative one minus lambda times one minus lambda, three minus lambda, minus two times four, well, uh, this piece here, let's just compute that one. This is lambda squared minus 4 lambda plus 3. That's minus 8. So what we have here is negative 1 minus lambda, lambda squared minus 4 lambda minus 5. Well, I can multiply and write it as something multiplied to lambda 3 plus another thing multiplied to lambda 2 and so on. But since I'm looking for eigenvalues of this guy, better to keep it as it is factorized, as it is given, yes? Because when you find the roots, so let me just write then the characteristic of the matrix in variable lambda is negative one minus lambda, lambda squared minus four lambda minus five. And we'll form the characteristic uh, equation over there this means that uh, negative 1 minus lambda is equal to 0 or lambda squared minus 4 lambda minus 5 is equal to 0 but this guy itself has two factors you see lambda minus uh, 5 lambda plus 1 
are two factors. This implies that lambda minus 5 is 0. And this implies that lambda plus 1 is equal to 0. From here, we have lambda is equal to negative 1. From here, we get lambda is equal to 5. From here, we get lambda is equal to negative. Well, there are two negative ones, means that the multiplicity of lambda equal to negative one is two. But in general, we have two um, eigenvalues, uh, negative one and five. Well, if you write this thing actually in the form that we have there, this will be lambda plus one, lambda minus five. The polynomial, the characteristic polynomial is going to be lambda plus 1 squared lambda minus 5. That square is why we have multiplicity 2 for lambda uh, equal to negative 1. Okay, that's for 3 by 3 matrix. For 4 by 4 matrix, okay, I have 1, 2, 3, 1, 0, negative 1, 2, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Uh, well, it wasn't supposed to be 0. This must be 3. Sorry, that example. I should have done that. 3, 0, 0, 0, 4. The minus lambda, minus lambda i only produces minus lambda on the entries of the main diagonal. And... Something that you have to notice here is that this matrix is upper triangular. Then A minus lambda I is going to be an upper triangular matrix. And the determinant of such uh, matrix is product of the entries on uh, the main diagonal. So 3 minus lambda, 4 minus lambda. This is the characteristic polynomial of A as a variable in lambda. Again, you don't, you can multiply, simplify, and write it as a polynomial, but this factorization is good because when you set it equal to zero, you will have four equations. Each factor can give you one eigenvalue or one root, which is an eigenvalue of the matrix 4 minus lambda equal to zero. From here, this is lambda is equal to 1, this is lambda is negative 1, lambda is equal to 4, lambda is, lambda is equal to 3, and lambda is equal to 4. And here, you should see that there is an important thing happening. What is that? You see the entries on the main diagonal of this guy are exactly what we found here. And that is true for all triangular matrices. This is a fact, this is a theorem. The proof goes as we saw uh, in this example. If A is a triangular, other, either upper triangular or low triangular matrix, then the characteristic polynomial of a is equal to product of entries of um, on the main diagonal so entries minus lambda or in other words, this is going to be A11 one one minus lambda, A22 two two minus lambda, and this will go up to ANN minus lambda. Yes. And well, as a result, the eigenvalues, eigenvalues of, um, triangular matrix uh, are the entries on the main diagonal. So A11, A22 up to A and N are eigenvalues of 
an n by n triangular matrix. Okay, so you have to be able to compute the eigenvalue uh, characteristic polynomial and then find the eigenvalues of any n by n uh, matrix.